Take Congresswoman care. Claudia Tenney was there when, the pres when President Trump made that announcement, and Congresswoman Claudia Tenney is sitting right next to me here in New York City today. Congresswoman, welcome to the program again. Thank you. It's an honor to be on. Now, I just asked, uh, <laughs> you know what's coming, don't you? I think <laughs> President Trump said very clearly to the Republican Party, like yourself, yeah. get it done. Did you get that sense? Uh, I did, around? and I am just a huge fan of getting it done. As a small business owner and someone who serves on the Financial Services Committee, we need to have tax reform. Obviously, we, we had a miss uh, with health care, which we'll revisit later, but we've got to get tax reform done. It's going to be the one thing that could probably save and help our small business community. Absolutely. Especially in my area, well, where I live in New York State, in upstate New York. As, as an insider in the Republican yeah. Party, and that's what you are, you're a Republican Congresswoman. I'm an insider now? Wow. <laughs> yes, you are. Well, you were inside the White House, yeah. weren't you? I clawed my way to get here, but that's another Oh, good thing. for you. <laughs> but as an insider, you yes. tell me. Uh, is the Republican Party ready to, uh, to unite and govern? Is it? Uh, let's hope so. I mean, no, I, no, no. I, is it? Do uh, you want me to talk for the Freedom Caucus and the Tuesday group and all the other groups? I, I want said, you to talk for the yeah. Republican Party. Yeah, from, from my perspective as a business owner and someone who is a solid Republican conservative from New York, we must get together and, and, and do tax reform. I haven't heard anyone that's against it. I know there's, as, as you just mentioned and referenced a little bit in your prior segment, uh, there are people who are concerned about the border adjustment tax, uh, whether you're a retailer or manufacturer. Sure. I'm a manufacturer. Um, it's relying on some elusive presumptions on the, on the currency exchange rates and, and that happening. So, but I think we need to get uh, whatever we can get done through the House and, and go through the process in the Senate. The Senate is really the issue. I'm from the, in the House. I think we can get it, but get it resolved. Could we get yeah. a, a focused deal through? Like, you cut the corporate tax rate, you cut the rate uh, of tax for people bringing money back into America, you spend the tax revenue on infrastructure. Yeah, I think, that it, I think that is very doable in the House. I think the question is getting it through the Senate. I think tax cuts are something that is proven that's going to work. And I'll say it again, it's really up to the Democrats in the Senate to join us and get this done. But you know, if you just got it done in the House, that would be a win. Uh, it would be yeah, a win we need for Republicans to stick together as Republicans. You know, Republicans need to, to have a long game. We need to have incremental change. We need to have policies that we can pass, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, they're so worried about hitting a home run. I'm looking, I'm looking at hitting a few... Uh, you know, a few short-term balls right now. <laughs> you, whatever you, the, the analogy works, yeah, anyway you slice yeah. it. Now, I'm, I understand that the president was trying to get on your good side, you in particular. He called your son, who is a Marine, before the meeting. Is that correct? Yes. Well, actually, I, had, I was hoping to get just an autograph from him, and Senator Perdue said uh, to the president, hey, uh, Congresswoman Tenney's son is a first lieutenant in the Marine Corps. He's deploying very soon to the Middle East. Can she get an autograph? And the president... Uh, sat down and said, sure, and he wrote the autograph, you know, he wrote out a note for him on my stationery that I just happened to have. And then he turned to me and said, can I call him? I was like, of course you can call him. And uh, I called. Of course, I was worried my son wouldn't take the call. I said, I texted, would you take a call from POTUS? And before you know it, he was talking to him on the phone. And, and uh, it was just, well, is this it was a beautiful moment. It was a moment where you could just see the president was very uh, warm. He shows his care for our troops. He my was, son was thrilled. Yeah, okay, look, I'm oh, not going to, I'm not going to, but he, he was buttering you up. I'm I mean, not he sure really about was. that. I mean, I, I came from, my district was, is a Trump district. I think uh, that he has demonstrated the president his care for our troops and the importance of our military. And I think this just showed a warmth in him. And uh, I think the conversation w was really sweet, and my son was very excited about it. And uh, he's, it, it was a great moment. I think you're trying, you're being cynical. Stuart. What? Yeah. No. <laughs> as, you, as we talk about the French elections, and you, and you speak uh, <laughs> French to me now. So. I've got 20 seconds left. You handicap it for yeah. me. What are the chances of a tax cut of some sort this year? Absolutely, it's going to happen. Okay. You're going to hold me to that? It's, oh, it's uh, April the 24th. It's just after 9 o'clock <laughs> Eastern Time a.m. So yes, we're, I think we're, we're going to have a tax cut this year. I'd like to see a personal income tax cut as well because so many uh, small businesses like mine use the personal pass-through. Sure. Uh, we love that, that provision in there. Claudia Tenney, thanks so thanks much so for Thanks so much. Appreciate it's it. It's an honor to be on. Thank you.